Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da Habatifillah, the question was asked Assalamu alaikum Ustad, do you know what books you would recommend excluding the books of uloom? Like a book that a student should get, example, can be Ibn Abdul Barr, Jami, Bayan, Ilm, wa Fadl, O or uh, a Fawaid by Ibn Al-Qayyum. Can you make a video about this? Uh, in general, what I would say, I, I guess what you mean by ulum, by the Islamic sciences, you're referring to uh, other than books of fiqh and books of uh, qawaid fiqiyah, books of usul of fiqh, books of maqasid al-sharia, books of uh, Aqidah and Tawheed and that uh, books of Hadith, Mustala Hadith and all the other sciences pertaining to Hadith and in fact what I'll say just in general <clears throat> that yes it is good to have books uh, books that are pertaining to the heart uh, the books of Ibn al-Qayyim, the books of Ibn uh, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahumullah uh, jami'an, and try to get books of the Salaf, books of the Salaf, because if you want to know and understand the path of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, Ahl Hadith, Ahl Athar, the Salaf al-Salih, then you need the text that the Salaf uh, wrote and the collected statements of the Salaf al-Salih. So there are many texts in which are useful and beneficial for the student of knowledge and as a resource. Just to remind you and keep you firm on the Madhab of the Salaf. And what I have done as far as my own Mektab and my own collection has been to uh, as I have a Mekkaba in America, and when I came back to Saudi Arabia, I was in need of a Mekkaba, and I was doing some studies. And so I began, as is pretty much my only major purchase in this world, is, is my books, uh, aside from some, some other things. But mainly, my money and what my energy goes to is uh, as far as I guess if you want to say a recreational habit something that I enjoy is books and predominantly Islamic books <clears throat> so for me it was important to get even though some of the books I already have in America to get back so that way I could really read and study and keep myself fresh on the Medhab of the Salaf so I got a lot of those important books in Aqidah of the Salaf, even if some of them, I already have them. But it was because I was going to be in Saudi Arabia for a while, so I wanted to keep in those texts. So it's very important to get, uh, aside from the, the other sciences, as you, you mentioned, to get books uh, that remind you of the Ittiqad of the Salaf and the Mu'aqif of the Salaf, you know, the, the position of the Salaf uh, regarding... Uh, everything in, in Islam, in fiqh, in adherence to the book and the sunnah, in dealing with ahl bid'ah, and other than that. So it's very important to keep those types of books like Imam al al uh book uh, and other books which are collections uh, of the statements of the Salaf. Also, um, uh, there, I think when you're in the process of studying and you're in a position to buy books and you're in a place where the books are, then you will come across those books and you'll be able to ask the scholars on those useful books. One thing I'll, I'll end by saying, which is very important, is... That is very important is the also getting books that you just enjoy. That's one. And secondly, uh, books that are researched because those kind of books, uh, when you find research 
pieces of research from universities, uh, Islamic universities, where the, wherever it may come from. I have some excellent books that are from Syria, some excellent books uh, from professors in that are even in Al Azhar and, and all around. And wherever you can find good scholarship about specific topics that are rare to come across, that are not just books uh, being taught, but that are actually pieces of research, you can find a lot of specialty uh, topics which will be very useful for you in the West. For example, I have a two volume, I believe it's two volumes, and I haven't had a chance to really go through it, uh, book about domestic violence, which you don't really hear the Arabs in general talk about these kind of topics. So it was very good to see, uh, to have something like this. When I found it, I, I purchased it immediately. So those kind of books are also invaluable. So uh, that's something I would advise. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.